Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'll walk you through every single concepts of directives in Angular. So we'll learn more about directives. So it will be helpful for us to apply those concepts and do the full Angular development in the online course enrollment application. So without delay, come let's get started. Alright, so I have already built the Angular Directives examples for you. I'm going to walk you through that. But before that, Directives. Directives in Angular are a powerful way to modify the behavior or appearance of the DOM elements. There are three main types of Directives. Structural Directives, Attribute Directives and Custom Directives. So in Structural Directives, there will be ng-if, ng-4, ng-switch. Attribute directives are nothing but you can use the ng class, ng style and so on. Custom directives we can make by our own and we can start using it. So we're going to see every single stuff, right? We'll be seeing all of these things and then we'll be applying these things in the online course enrollment application. There's a full stack development video so is going on and we are trying to go in and we are going to build the complete Angular application. So for that, all of these concepts are important. So that's why we're learning this. So let's dive in. The first one, this is called ng if. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the directives example and you can see all of these directives, right? So the first one is the structural directive ng if. ng if is nothing but based on a condition, it will either uh, place an element or it will remove an element. Okay, so it will remove that complete element from the DOM itself. So let's go to the directives. So directives examples here, we can see what we have. So this is the component. So what I have is I have a couple of, um, you know, the properties or I would say it's called fields or variables. You can you can name it whatever you want. Okay, everything is correct basically. So I have a variable, I have a field called show content. It's a type of Boolean which is set to true. I have an items field name that is a type of array of string, which means I'm initializing with some elements, like some elements of the array. So it, this array has four items. Okay. Similarly, another one selected color, which is a soft string type default value is red. Two more thing that's used for the attribute directives, but it's basically is active and is highlighted. Both are Boolean set to true and false respectively. Okay. That's it in the component. Everything that you need to understand is in the HTML. Let's go to HTML and let's see one by one. Okay, so in the HTML, if you see, I have a button on click. What it is doing is it is flipping the Boolean variable of show content to true and false. For example, if default is false, on click it will do a flip, which means it will set to true. If it is true, another time you click, it will set to false. That is what it is doing. But where is this ng if coming into picture? So what I'm doing is I am saying on this development, I'm placing an ng if. So you have to start with star. That's what it denotes structural directive, followed by a small ng and then i caps if ng if equal to the property that we need to evaluate which is nothing but this is true or false so if this is true this will the whole element is in place if this is set to false the whole element will go away so if i click here now this whole element is gone if i click one more time this got flipped which means it is set to true if it is true the content is conditionally shown based on ngf see this this content is coming if i click one more time it's going away right that is what ngf is so now next is ng4 ng4 is nothing but the directives repeats the element for each item in an array so here we know items is an array of string so we are saying repeat this list element like under the um, on ordered list there's the li okay so repeat this n number of times that what is an n number of times it's basically the number of items in the item so for that star ng4 equal to you have to say let and then you have to put in variable of the array name basically what it will do is it will take each item put it into this and then it will be evaluated 
you remember if you are coming from c sharp background or java background there is for each statement that's exactly what this is doing so each element of an array like this item which is coming into this variable and we are saying this variable is like we are just printing this variable that's why here you can see angular react view and servlet they all are repeated automatically which means this is like say for example if i copy this one more time another four will come there is a mistake here okay let's remove this you see this now it should come two times of four because this will repeat for four times this will repeat for four times right that's what it is doing so it is repeating okay we, we need this also in order for us to uh, you know uh, show the categories multiple times or whatever data we need to repeat so this is called ng4 and the last one is ng switch so basically here if you look at this we have a select statement and then we have a two-way binding you see this ng model is a two-way binding so the selected color is by default red so this is selected but if you change any of this this gets updated and then here is the beauty so in order to use the ng switch you can say property binding of ng switch assign the variable okay and then actually this is equivalent of switch statement so here we are saying star ng switch case we are saying if the value was red show this if the value was green show this similarly if the value was blue show this if there is nothing show this look at this okay so for example if i go here instead of red i say something else which is not present over there right see select a color is automatically coming because there is nothing called reds right if it is red this will change to you selected red if i green you selected green i selected blue you see this so that's the um the, the three things that we saw are called structural directives they're inbuilt directives the next one is attribute directives attribute directives means basically if you look at here this is the attribute directives attribute directive example so this is the attribute directive example basically what we are doing is we are using so for each element there is something called class and style right style is basically if if you just know what a style if you put style s t y l e style you can have the css property added here for example um weight font weight okay so font font size font weight we can say 600 something will become big you see this, this is getting big so this is called style but this is something that you're manually setting but if you put more properties of a style that becomes a class so class is nothing but like for example if you go to css this is a class each one of these is called style properties so if you want to put all of these four items into one place you generally use class correct so here in this example what we're trying to understand is there are inbuilt attribute directives so for example ng class ng class means if you put the square bracket and then say ng class and then followed by what we are doing here is we are evaluating so we are evaluating if is active is true set the active class and if the is active is false set the class called inactive so this active class and inactive class will automatically be placed inside this element based on this evaluation okay that is what it is doing so for example toggle class here okay if i click this this variable becomes false why on click we are flipping it here correct on click we are flipping it here so if i click this got flipped because this got flipped this class got added this class has some settings here in active see the color is red for active the color is green so basically those two classes are all automatically get uh you know put into this p tag that's why the color is automatically changing here okay now similarly there is another call called ng style ng style like i explained to you ng styles are property bindings like each property of a given class so we are saying background color if is highlighted is set to true background color set the background color to yellow 
if not set to to transparent so if i click this it becomes yellow and the text is normal see this the color is changing only because based on this whatever we flip this class is having a value called yellow or a transparent these two values are applied based on this flag okay so that is what called uh, attribute directives the last but not least is called custom directives custom directives means this itself is a directive anything that you add to an element is a directive right so what we are going to do is we will create a custom directive so in order to create a custom directive you can say ng space g space d which means directive ng generate directive directive name i created a directive called highlight directive in highlight directive what you need to understand is see this is decorated with the directive attribute here okay so for component it will be component right similarly for directive it will be directive there are two things in directive select r and a standalone this is angular 18 so we are setting standalone to true um, nothing nothing to worry about this directive so the directive name is app highlight users within the square bracket we have put so remember this i will tell you where we have put this okay so there is something called host listener host listener is wherever this is getting placed it is listened to these events for mouse enter mouse leave it is going to listen to the event and it is going to set its background style to the color based on what event is fired so in order to use this directive okay so for example i what i do is i go to this example and if you look at this this is the directive name i directly put this directive name to the one of the p tag which means if i hover look at in the left side if i hover here this is changing to yellow correct because i'm hovering here this directive is applied if i apply this directive on this one what will happen can you guess this is also getting changed right that's the beauty of this custom directive okay you can do certain stuff based on the custom directives if it is not available with the um the attribute directives or the inbuilt structural directive structural directives is to change the structure of the dom attribute is to change the present the behavior of the dom custom directives to do whatever we want okay so i hope you enjoyed this video you learned about directives or different types of directives in this video we're going to apply this directive concepts and then the data binding concepts that we learned in the previous video in our angular full course development video so stay tuned and if you like this video do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions let me know in the comment section if you're interested with some specific videos and if you're looking for something specific on angular 18 or below let me know i will make such videos all right all right guys stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video bye bye thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding